J360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by JM Brady. I am your host, JM Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's time for a new week, isn't it? <laughs> yes, indeed. Welcome back to the Mini Bites. And then, wow, it is 167. We are really climbing up the ladder on this stuff. I'm like, man, this is cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, a whole new week, a whole lot of new adventures going on. But I got to tell you guys about some of the most important things. The name of this episode is called Distribution Fix, right? That's because I am going to work out the little confusion about things regarding like um, when things are top-heavy and when things are not. You see, we have a lot of things coming up on the uh, horizon right now. We got two Power Play episodes this week. We got J360 Jam 67, the J-Man Show 296, and then not to mention like a new... A brand new project conference happening on Saturday. Oh my god. <laughs> Where do I find the time, right? Not to mention the mini bite tonight, but here's what here's what we're going to do. We're gonna work this out. Okay, so since it is a jams week and it is a project conference week, the best way to go about that is is utilize both uh, Friday and Saturday. So you know Fridays belong to jams, so there's always gonna be jams happening on Friday, which, you know, 67 will happen at 10 o'clock at that time. But you see, Saturday at noon, if there's a Project Conference episode in action at that moment, Saturday at noon will always be for Project Conference. All right? In the event that there isn't a Jams episode, there will be, the Project Conference will take its spot. You know what I mean? That Friday at 10 spot and all. So, yeah, that's the way that's going to work. And the thing about the J360 Power Play is it usually appears on Twitch first unless I get banned from Twitch or something. And I'm not asking for it, but Twitch will ban you for, like, the weirdest stuff anyway. But, yeah, it usually pops up on Twitch first, which is why, like, whenever the schedule comes out, it always says Twitch in parentheses. Like, anywhere the show is going to turn up, it'll usually be on parentheses unless otherwise specified. And, you know, J360 radio shows are always going to be on Spreaker with Spreaker.com slash user slash J360 radio. If you use that, it'll give you all of the links and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we're just working this stuff out because I know it's a lot to carry and it's a lot for, like, anybody who's not working on it. So I try to go ahead and work this out for you all. But, you know, that's why it's really important to pay attention to the schedule of events and then not to mention, like, um, always ask. You know, I try to go ahead and keep these things in the same spot unless I otherwise specify it. And you always get the schedule like every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of the power play, right? Power play 41 landed not too long ago. It actually um, was streamed last night because you guys didn't get one last weekend because of everything that was happening last weekend. So I managed to go ahead and make good on that and gave you guys a new episode on Monday. So you got 41 that's landed now on YouTube, and it's still on Twitch as well, until like Twitch will make room for things, because we're not in partnership on Twitch yet, so I don't get like unlimited storage, if I think that's how the thing goes, but, you know, growth is important, so we'll see what happens here on out. I also know, like, um, the latest Project Conference, if you all are wondering, yes, the guest is Marina Anselmo, and yes... It's gonna be good. You guys are in for a treat on that. So here's how it goes. You know, we start from the mini bites and we end with Project Conference six this week. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And then not to mention, you know, the J Man show is always gonna happen on um, Wednesday or Thursday unless specified, because you know the alt schedule is always a thing too. Like when I go and I do R and D. But what's really cool about that is, is you guys get to help me out with all the R and D and everything that I do about this stuff because, you know, you let me know whether it works or you let me know whether it doesn't. So that's the beauty of this all. We're all going to help each other. The community has been very, very, very effective in helping. And it's just, like, amazing to see, like, all the J360 stuff just coming together and just proceeding. By the way, I want to give a special shout-out to Claudia Blackstar for being on Project Conference 5. And then, of course, you know, R Knight for four, Rogue Effects for three, Neon Black Dreams for two, and that crazy ass Joe Moffat for episode one. 
Project Conference is taking off. I'm loving it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, it's it's just been about time. It's been a while coming about giving you guys a traditional interview show. And, you know, we finally have it. And, like, everybody's been helping it. And, like, this latest one with Marina has just been beautiful. But you're going to have to wait and see it. And as we go through the trails of getting there, you know, just just imagine the possibilities, will you? You know what I mean? And then, like, oh, my God, every single show is just going to hit. Hit, click, and do what needs to be done. And stick to the schedule about things. So, you know, as I go ahead and say that, though, it seems like I'm throwing a lot at you. And I am, but I'm trying to simplify things as we go. All right, Tay? And um, let's see. Let me go ahead and give you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to let you guys know this, too. When I was away for a little while, you know what I also saw? Super Mario Brothers movie. I don't know what the hell Rotten Tomatoes is on, and I don't know what Kotaku is all about, and I don't even think any of those sites know what they do anymore, but that movie was awesome. Everything about it was just amazing. Like If you grew up playing Nintendo throughout the 80s and 90s, and most likely you have, like there's something in that for everybody. Like Whatever they had going for them, it just all worked out. Kind of like the Sonic movies, too. You know, even though the Sonic movies have gone their own ways with the source material, and as it should, because it actually helps out. But it's like, yeah. You know, like, you understand all that stuff if you've been in it that long, you know? Just beautifully done. <laughs> and then not to mention, like, you know, when they had Donkey Kong in there, that whole Donkey Kong battle sequence was good. And then not to mention, like, my boy Diddy Kong was out there in the audience. Along with ne- sitting right next to Dixie, as he should, because they're, they're a couple. And then not to mention, like, Chunky Kong was right next to him. So, you know, if anybody played, like, um, Donkey Kong Country, like, that's there for you, too. It's, like, very, very cool. And then, you know, there's the uh, Bowser love song, Peaches, that gets stuck in your head, though. Because it's catchy as hell. And then, you know, like, if you ever saw School of Rock with Jack Black in it, and I know a lot of you have. Like, everything about it was just crisp you know just amazing like if i was to give it a nice rating i would go ahead and say four stars you know why four stars well you know i want more you know what i mean like i was looking for like wario um the little little teaser ending they did at the end of it like because the thing is a lot of y'all didn't get to see it yet so Maybe I'll go ahead and I'll do something a little in depth for it, like after two weeks or so, because that should be enough time for everybody to actually get up and go. And if you're not going to see it, you know, you're just not going to see it. So at that point, I'll know exactly what I need to do. But um, yeah, I think I'll go see it again. And this time I'll take my pops with me. Get what I'm saying? But all in all, though, I just wanted to let you guys know those kind of things. But let me go ahead and give you your schedule, though, to clarify like certain things, because you know, a lot has happened, and a lot is going to happen, so let's just go ahead and clear the clear the air about that. You got the mini bikes happening right now, you got the J-Man show happening tomorrow, you got, let's see, the J360 Power Play 42 happening on Thursday, and then, like, you have J360 Jam 67 happening on Friday, and then you have Project Conference 6 happening on Saturday at noon, and, like, yeah... <laughs> that's your schedule for right now you know so hey just stay tuned to see like how everything unfolds okay and then the j man show is happening tomorrow i would say i apologize for the show being late but hey you know what after i managed to get all these things done and kind of work this out your boy had to go take a bit of a power nap and um <laughs> i think my beard got longer i'm gonna be rip Van j man after a while but you know It'll work. But until then, though, you guys take care of yourselves. We will catch up again soon. And then, like, I got a lot of details that I can't tell you about in this episode right now. So you're going to have to tune in for the J-Man Show for more things. But um, you can wait, right? (laughs) Well, see you at 10 live tomorrow, all right? Peace. (laughs) 